Hey folks, welcome to Weekend Technical Analysis Update by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leader in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. This Weekend Technical Analysis Update is for uh, Monday, February 23rd through Friday, February 27th. Now as we get into things today, folks, there's a couple odds and ends I want to take care of. First of all, I want to focus on what happened last week. What was the cause of the, the massive rally or short squeeze midday Friday? What caused the sell-off most of the week that led into that? Was it options expiration, which is always a key player in things? And I, there is something very interesting we're going to talk about in regards to that. But first of all, let's discuss what the Friday's market closed at. We'll get into that kind of stuff. Uh, Dow was down about 100 on Friday. NASDAQ was flat on the day, just down a point and a half. And the S&P was down about 8 to 9 points. Now, the key here is this, folks. We were far, far lower than we ended the day. The Dow was down over 250 points at these lows right here on the chart. Now, first of all, we can see all of my trend lines drawn in here. I can go back on the chart and actually show you where we got a bunch of them. One's coming here from the 17th, as you can see, connecting to the high of the 18th. And then if you look at that trend line, resistance right there, then it becomes support. And you can see why it's so important, because this one line dictates basically three days straight, even to Friday's action on the lows. Okay, And that's why it's so important. You can even go back further. further. I have a trend line that goes all the way back here to the 10th to February 10th and a lot of these trend lines will go back even further as this was a key trend line going back that was the bottom in this point so I just draw them back as far as we need them to really show but they can go back literally weeks months even possibly years on some charts and it just shows you the magnitude of them now what I want to do here first folks is discuss the last week and you can see it here on the intraday this is Friday this is Thursday and what you did you had a gap down on the chart to this support line and as soon as you see that gap down onto that support first of all you're looking to see if it starts to break and if it doesn't break and starts to move up you should get a rally to your first resistance line that's exactly what we got on Friday gap down rally to first resistance line micro pullback then rally back, retest of that resistance line. Second time it couldn't break, that's telling you most likely it will come back down a little bit, especially once you get this type of candle. All right, The sell-off then continues down to this support line again, which is the same support line we gapped lower. That support, you can see a little bit of a tail there bouncing up, then a little bit more of a bounce here, uh, another bounce here, green candle. Then you start to create a little bullish in interest, kind of a mini bullish flag pattern, which yields one more push, and the high of the next candle touches that 20 moving average, at which point you see a sell-off first hit of the 20 moving average oftentimes a sell-off and you can see that market come right back down you pause right on this same trend line but at this point you're hammering it multiple times the more you hammer a trend line or a moving average the more likely you break all right at this point you do break luckily there was another support line just a little bit below it here as you can see you pierced it and then the market started to rally huge what was the cause of that rally government coming out saying they're not going to nationalize banks next week the treasury is going to release more on the bank bailout plan the market craves cl cl clarity at this point guys i can't stress that enough clarity is what the market needs to form a bottom to move up last week we were well oversold going into friday and even on the gap down friday continued to be oversold you did get a turn some key players like Bank of America, uh, Wells Fargo, um, Citigroup, possible bottoming tails forming on those charts. We don't know yet. That's going to be released. We'll find out Monday. I'll go over that in the premium subscribers uh, nightly video. We'll do that research report on that as well and discuss it uh, just to kind of clarify what we see Monday because it's too early to know. We're not going to know yet. We'll know Monday. Probably Monday, Tuesday, we'll get a good signal in this market. But look at this turn in the market right off the support. And one thing about this support line, guys, and I had to you know mention this, is a break of this line, and I didn't have anything near in the bottom areas here and literally you could have gone down on the S&P or the SPY and tested November lows which on the chart was another dollar plus lower on the SPY which would have been a huge drop we would have been down three four hundred points even close to 500 before another major support line came into play so the fact that this market got saved some people say PPT some people say uh, the market came out here or the the Treasury saw this key line trust me the Treasury the government has technical players just like we are I mean we, we happen to be experts at it I hope they are they have people talking to them as much as we talk to you guys and explain these technicals um, and tell them the key levels because and this level was key I mean I can't tell you you break this level and it was gonna be very very ugly Friday but all of a sudden out of the blue market gets some news it likes it the squeeze begins you saw Bank of America rip Bank of America was down 25 30 percent ultimately I can show you that chart here let's look at that chart look at this at this point Bank of America is at two dollars and fifty cents after it closed yesterday, uh, the day before on Thursday, at approximately oh I don't know, 
close to four dollars here it looks like even a little bit um, yeah right around that four dollar level so a, a drop of a dollar fifty close to that from four dollars to two fifty is a huge drop and all of a sudden the faucet gets turned on uh, you see money flow start one thing you have to know guys is when you get this type of flush on a beaten down play and I want to show you the daily on this look at this beaten down I mean Bank of America was getting slaughtered I mean, there's no doubt about it. Even in recent days, basically from eight bucks down to two fifty. When you see on the intraday this type of pattern formation, volume formation, and again I talk about this to the research center guys and explain it a little more thoroughly. But the idea here is, folks, this can be known as a washout or a flushout or capitulation. And then look at the reversal you get. Bank of America actually went positive um, there for just a short amount of time before consolidating and closing slightly lower. Going back to the SPY though, guys, this is what it all comes down to. This chart pattern here, this rally that came in on the bank news uh, possible non-nationalization nationalization would be a disaster because shareholder value gets wiped out 100% of these plays if it gets nationalized even preferred stock can be wiped out and all that kind of stuff bondholders you name it the market hates that and the market hates even more not knowing I can't stress to those in power Obama his administration you gotta be clear it doesn't matter what they do you know if they were to nationalize yeah it would be horrible but it would be done in a day it would be done in two days you have a flush out that was ugly yes but at least it would be done the government has to do action, and they have to be clear on it and do it immediately, and then just step back and let the markets. You'll have a bottom that way. The bottom will be put in, and, uh, you know, again, we'll see. But a lot of news this weekend about non-nationalization, banks not getting nationalized, and that should help the market a little bit, I would think. Now, 60-minute chart, folks. You can see all the trend lines, how beautiful they are. I mean, this one right here, which was the high point here, once you break up, it becomes support. And look at how we bang off that support and the 20 moving average into the close. And the market, interesting pattern here. Again, those in the premium service know a little more about that pattern formation, with what it could yield. 60-minute chart, guys. Here's your 60-minute. Look at this channel. Look at that channel in the market right there. We've been in this channel really since the breakdown below this 200 moving average right here. This pattern, bearish pattern up here, yielded the fall. We've never really looked back. Just traded in that pattern all the way down ever since really about the 9th, 10th of February. Now, these are your key levels, guys. That's all I'm going to say here. These are the key levels. That can all change. The levels on the downside, if we go down there, there are more levels on the 60-minute. I'm not going to go into them. Again, we'll save that for our premium subscribers uh, for the Research Center at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Now, a couple other odds and ends, guys. I want to quickly show you a couple charts. We're going to do things a little differently here. But number one, what I want to do is quickly go into our website. Uh, here's our website. You can see we added a new trade, the ITMS fund. We're bringing on pro traders to trade our fund and our money. You guys can check that out. In addition, we added article archive. You guys know we have the economic and earnings alerts. They're already up for this coming week. Uh, let me scan over. We'll go over them quickly here. And you can see here, you have all the economic news coming out. And then how they're ranked. Is it important? Is it not important? All of that will be told over here. You can see that also. I'm not going to really bother with that. Earnings as well. The key earnings. Any company that's somewhat well known or at least has a track record of some importance. Home Depot's next week. That'll be interesting. First Solar next week. Very interesting. Target. Um, Dell. So a bunch of these next week will be very, very interesting for the market. You can find all this data daily. Just go check it out daily if you want to know what's going to happen. Now, let's go back. Let's talk a little bit about the Apple chart. I want to look at the Apple chart here. We're going to shift things up a little here and just analyze one chart quickly here in the final couple minutes of this chart of this video. Now, a couple odds and ends. Let's draw on our trend lines. And again, you can just see here what's going on. This would be a resistance line, a resistance. And this is off the fly. I just picked Apple randomly. But... Um, these are all your levels on Apple, and this is, again, key stuff. You have the 20 moving average here. That'll be a level to get through on the 60-minute. This is all 60-minute analysis, by the way, guys. The, all the daily stuff, if, if people want to know where things are going tomorrow, next week, next month, that's all saved for our premium subscribers. But I just want to give you guys an instant of what we do here. Obviously, you're currently on Apple. You're actually right here at res, uh, resistance point. You have the 200 moving average on the intraday, so Monday that should be watched on Apple. You get through that, you have the 20 moving average to contend with as well. But the 20 moving average, you can easily, you know, that one's not necessarily the biggest of the, the, the chart patterns. The 200 is pretty big. You can see Apple moving up. Here's your support line. That breaks. Apple's going much lower. Now, Apple was strong. The NASDAQ was strong. Things were very strong in the technology sector on Friday. But here are all your key levels on Apple. You can see, and this here's a minor one as well. I'll throw that one in there as well. All your key levels all the way up. All right, guys. Quickly, we'll look at the intraday on Apple. And you can see how here's Apple really, even when the market was getting crushed, Apple was trading flat. I mean, that's a nice chart. 
If you want to see a nice chart, that's a beautiful chart. Then the market starts to rip. Apple flies. Then Apple gets a little pullback. People sell, take profits. But very interesting to see. Alrighty, guys, come join the research center at inthemoneystocks.com, where we basically give you all the stuff you need to know. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.